Yo, what it is, people of the world. Uh, I'm going to wait a minute till y'all get in here before I start talking about whatnots and nonsense and all have you. Fooba doo boo. Five likes, zero watchers. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, dad. Hello, Connor Dilg. Uh, what it is, my boy. Oh, 31 of y'all. Hey, what it up, Brandon Shimmer? Joey Smith, ye. Ben Scares, hello. Damn, you guys are all popping up at once. You listen to Scarlord? Yeah, actually, I did. That's funny. The, the, they were sick. That guy's sick. He's freaking dope. Uh, hey, boy, what it is? Routers plays games. Hello, hello. Bree, Bree. It's your boy. You look like you haven't slept in months. Thank you. Appreciate it. Do it for the booch. Always for the booch. It's all, all I do it for. It's for the booch. Uh, oi, yo, yo, yo. Can you check out my art? Yeah, probably. Tag me on Instagram. I'll check it out. Uh, watching you, you in hockey. This is a dream. Hell yeah! Thank you, Psycho Drummer Boy. So if you guys are, looks like there's a lot of you now. That's cool. There's like a hundred of you here. That was quick. Uh, thanks for being here. I'm gonna try to keep up on the chats as much as I can. Uh, we're gonna be doing some vocal stuff. I got, I got a video uh, exporting right here. So uh, I need, I need to kill some time. So help me out. Let's. Uh, if you guys got any vocal questions or really anything, I wanted to preface it as a vocal thing, but. Uh, don't call me a Symmetramane, you motherfucker. That's not true. Oh, uh, yo, Austin, you're my favorite fucking YouTuber. Dickie Dine Show is my favorite channel. Thank you, Metalist King. I really appreciate you. Uh, I just finished editing, like, three new Dickie Dine Show videos, so we got some much... Why do you look tired? Cause, I don't know, because I, I don't sleep much, because I, I, we film late a lot, and I edit, and then... I got some new songs that we're working on, so you know, and I've been playing Overwatch still, so you boy, always on that grind. Uh, uh, hey dude, what's up? Your band's so cool. Thank you, Andre. Andre, do your best scream. I think my favorite go-to one is my Grizzly, which is this boy. <clears throat> it's just a classic. It's like jarring. It's a bit loud, so it's like whoo. Uh, one more Dragged Under. See that? Okay, so Dragged Under is like a side project of a side project. So it's uh, it's kind of like our last priority, unfortunately, because we have so much other stuff that we do in between that time. But, I mean, we have a song that we are waiting to to put out next, but and it has a guest feature from uh, Norma Jean's vocalist. But we can keep going hush hush. But we're waiting on him to come back and do, do his part. So, yeah. Uh, Helen Kwong, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. How do you screen like Corey Taylor? Corey Taylor's, uh, so you can do a similar like style of him, but you won't sound like him because a lot of his scream is derived from his actual voice. You can hear it a lot, like when he sings, you can tell that it's the same guy that's doing the screams because it's like his tonality comes through. But his is mostly it's like an aggressive talking kind. Of, oh, I'm gonna close this window really quick. We had neighbors. What's up? Um, oh yeah, you like that view, huh? Uh, like Corey Taylor, it's more of like a an aggressive mid. Uh, how do you get good at Overwatch? Play with me more, Bana. It's like an aggressive mid, like you're talking, you take your talking voice and you're amplifying it. So if you're talking like this, da 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 da, then you have the great, yeah, you're talking like this, feel it, feel it, take it, see it, get it, not spin, not spin its face. It's just like an aggressive talk almost. Uh, thick organic boy, thanks, Magma Joe, appreciate it. Love you, baby. Love you too, Curtis. Are you going to put AFHTL on Spotify? Uh, yeah, if we ever do this new song, uh, yeah, the band's pretty much, like, over with, but we have that one song that we did that I think would be cool to put out, so if I get that one, then I'll just put all the music on Spotify. Uh, I love you and Jared's cover, Reincarnate. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was really old. I haven't heard it in a while. Which scream is the loudest? Uh, probably mids or highs. The highs is usually for the, for the piercing, like, shrillness, because, like, your pitch of your high can be wicked high, but still quiet, if that makes sense. Like, the volume can be quiet, but the pitch is really high, so it, like, hurts your ears at a different frequency. Uh, mids are also, you know, mids or yells probably are the loudest, I would actually say. <clears throat> More tips for high scream. What specifically? Ask, like, ask me, like, what do you need specific help with? Like, just general, like, how to make the sound, or what do you mean? Do witch whispers? Like the <laughs> Any more covers anytime soon? Uh, yeah, I was thinking about doing a one take of uh, one of Ariel's new songs. I think that'd be cool. Uh, tough Organic Boy. Non-stop Tough Organic Boys. Thank you. And girls, you can do it too. 
uh, I needed to work on my horse vocals. Any tips? Uh, yeah, just try to do like a Scooby-Doo voice and then wobble your face. <laughs> It's all in the wobble. Who you main, boy? Uh, your boy right now? On comp, I, I was doing Moira for a bit because I was doing all the Heelys, uh, but for DPS, I usually play Reaper and May, so that's cool that they got those buffs. Uh, and then tank, like Roadhog, Arissa, Diva, Ryan, I play all those tanks. She make my head, I was playing Forza. Uh, fun. I need help with the growl in that one song that's a meme, the Bree, what do you mean? I don't know. I don't get what you mean. Have you ever streamed Overwatch on Twitch? Nah, but I mean, that'd be cool. I'd be about that if you guys want that. How I scream for more than 10 seconds. Uh, you gotta sacrifice power if that's what you're going for. If you're going for duration, like I think I can only, like, I can only hold like a strong scream for about 10 seconds. And then if I need to do like a longer one for whatever reason, I have to go like a little, like I have to sacrifice some of the volume. So instead of like a, you'd have to go like, and like pull back a little bit so it's more of the air controlling the scream rather than the power. Austin, I'd blow to get your high scream ability. Dude, just practice, man. It's it's just you gotta find like don't stick to like the norm. I feel like people find this technique and then they're like, this is how you do it forever. Like just move your tongue around and try different things. It really affects what you can do. Do do your sickest scream. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I like my walrus ones. I've been doing. <laughs> baby Free. Uh, uh, how do I find my unclean voice um, what worked best for me when I was starting out is I picked a vocalist I liked and I was like I think I can kind of like I quietly would practice the sound and then once I figured it out I would try to make it a little bit louder and the way you do that a lot of people think that you make it louder by forcing harder but it's not true you gotta if, as long as your power is coming from your diaphragm and your stomach you don't need to push that super hard to get it and a lot of people end up hurting themselves or straining too much in the throat area and that's what causes a lot of like uh, limitations like people can't get as high as they want or they can't get as loud as they want because they're straining too much and then the sound isn't coming out like it's supposed to. Uh, Austin how do you go from a mid to a high what do you actually do? It's weird. It's kind of like a shift. Like you can, there's like layer or not layers, but there's like stages of where your Adam's apple kind of rests. So it's like when it's lower, you can kind of feel it a little lower. Um, I use my Adam's apple as my guide is what I meant. Sorry. So like you can feel it like lower is down here. More mid is just like reverberating here. And then the highs are just like reverberating under my soft palette. Uh, how do I do? How is my account commenting? I'm so confused. That's weird. Uh, what? Sorry, I got thrown off. There's a comment from me on here that's tripping me out. Uh, 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 shit, what was it? I, I hope that helped. I forgot. Oh, yeah, the, the high thing. I forgot. I know you were asking about high. Shit, I got distracted. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Any more reaction videos? Hell, yeah. I have a lot on standby I want to do, but I've just been busy with Dicky Dine stuff. But I think this week I'm going to film some more and do a little bit different. I have another little skit video I'm going to do for my channel, too. What advice can you give someone who has never done vocals and what technique should I start with? Um, advice <clears throat> is a lot of it is just your mindset is you're going to probably get discouraged because you're going to want the thing to happen overnight and it probably won't just because, you know, that's not how things work. Like if I really wanted to get good at basketball, I couldn't expect to dunk overnight. You know, you got to practice and build up to it and get a little better slowly, slowly. So you got to know that going in that it's going to take some time. Uh, you got to know when to pull back. I've heard a lot of people telling me that like they get their voice gets really hoarse and they're like, oh, I coughed up blood or something. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's fucking not good. You shouldn't be doing that. So if it ever gets to that point, you need to chill, you know, take a step back. Um, you got to treat your voice like any other muscle of your body. Like if you're, I use this example a lot, but if you are like work out often, you would know that like you, <clears throat> when you work out, you tear the muscle and it grows back bigger. But if you keep doing it and doing it and doing it, you're not going to let the muscles heal. That's why people do like chest and leg than this. They let the muscle heal while it's torn and it gets stronger and bigger. And you got to keep that with your throat too. If you're, if you're practicing too much, you're going to hurt yourself and not let it actually build up a, the tolerance that you need. Um, oh, it looks like you guys threw a super chat at me. Thank you. I didn't even, I forgot about those. Thank you, Tara Marie, uh, for the $5 donation. I love you more than anything else ever, OMG. Thank you. Uh, I, I appreciate you. I love you, too. Thank you so much. Uh, 
that I can't comment a few times. Yeah, who is that? Is that just, oh, hey, what's up, Turkish Delight? My boy. <clears throat> if you guys into uh, Battlefront 2 specific gameplay or uh, coverage, my boy Turkish Delight on that grind. How do you yodel? Uh, you go to Walmart and ask for the yodel section. How do you Owen Wilson voice? Wow. Uh, it's like all nasal. It's like, you gotta do the, wow. You gotta let the air come. Wow. Wow. It like starts here and it goes, wow. Up. Wow. You feel me? You feel me or not? Could I get really good at screaming by June 16th or would I just sound try hard? Uh, I mean, anything's possible. Like, I figured out the basic sounds pretty quickly. Oh, it's a fan account, Austin, not your account. All right. Well, thank you for, I appreciate the commitment. I was tripped, I was like, I thought maybe like my fiance was on the account messing with me or something, but you got me. Hey man, I'm a big fan. Thank you, Noah Brooks. I appreciate you. Uh, any idea how I do the inhale? Wait, how Infinite Annihilator do the inhale, exhale, demon breathing thing? <clears throat> oh yeah, that one's weird. I tried to fuck with it for a little bit. You just gotta get commit to the snarl. Is that what you're talking about when he goes, wah, wah, wah. So what I do to, to try and emulate it is that you do the snarl when you're taking the breath. You have to be like, kind of like that. So it's like snarl inward and then wah, outward. He's saying he could hack you if he wants. Oh, fuck. Please don't steal my identity. I've worked hard for it. Hey, me and my mom are big fans. Love your shit. Hey, thanks, Panda and Mama Panda. Tell your mom I said what it is and thank you. Uh, what's the most basic scream? Probably fry screams for most people, which is kind of just the sound. I don't, I never really figured out how to do fry screams. I like, because to me they're too quiet, so I always wanted to do like a scream, you know, make it louder. And then I would apply that to my normal ones. But the most basic for me was highs, but for everybody else, it seems that they got lows first because it seems easier to do with your mouth, making it like, you know, just a small circle and getting that air to come out. It's just pretty simple one to do is to get the initial like, oh, you know, the initial grit. So yeah, probably that. How much time, wait, how much time you practice? Uh, I mean, it, it differs, like my life's really busy, so I, I mostly only can practice in the car. Uh, but also a lot of people in my life know that I'm a vocalist and I don't get to practice that often So I, I just randomly will just do screams sometimes just depending on what I'm doing that day Or if like I have a show coming up I'll just warm up randomly or like on the way to events sometimes I've just been like hey I'm gonna warm up real quick sorry everybody and then I just start doing my vocals. <clears throat> so you just got to find time when you can be Understanding with people and just try to make time I try to I don't practice every day just because like I was saying earlier you don't want to overdo it uh, but I try to practice often, especially I like I got a tour coming up, so I need to practice often. <clears throat> uh, no, you're good, man. You can stay on the fan account. I know. I, I see the difference now. <laughs> I think somebody sent a two dollar donation, but I don't know where it went, and I'm sorry for that. I I don't know how to find it. This is I'm a pleb when it comes to this. I'm sorry. Best ways to practice breath control and stamina. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, so with the, the breath control one, I find that if you, you fill up your stomach, then fill up your chest, and kind of hold that air for a bit, and then try to increase the time, and then at the end of your breath, do a scream. So like, hold the breath in. And kind of get the grit going. So right, at, right when you exhale all your air, if you can squeeze out a scream, it'll give you like a little bit of extra oomph, and you can kind of like gradually increase that. Uh, that's a good one to do. Holding your breath, honestly, it helps a lot. It, it strengthens you know, your ability to hold your breath longer, and doing cardio helps a lot too if you do that, or just screaming more often, uh, you know, and just keeping it up. Mahoy Minoy do the grizzly, okay? I'm gonna say your name in, in the grizzly. <laughs> I think I drooled on the table. Y'all catch that on the stream or what? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, longest Yeah Boy Growl Edition. <laughs> yeah, boo! I can't do it. <laughs> Spiders up your butt. No, please, no more. How fun was the o oh the Ocean's Eight Alaska guest spot? It was fucking awesome. It was yeah, it was really cool. Those dudes are awesome. I'm glad that it was really nice of them to let me do that. Uh, hello from Texas, the band thing. Hello, hello from Washington. <clears throat> uh, 
What are the breathing techniques to screaming and growling? I am from Indonesia. Notice me. You are noticed. Um, the, like they're saying, the breathing techniques a lot is like building your cardio up, you know, being able to, because the stamina it comes a lot. Or here, let me rephrase that. So like the power is generated a lot from your diaphragm. And if you have a weak, you know, uh, like cardio, then your diaphragm is already going to not, it's going to be lacking. So holding your breath and stuff, like I was saying, especially underwater, like obviously be safe about this. Don't fucking drown. Uh, just holding it and trying to increase your tolerance, you know, do it like a couple times a week and then increase it and then increase it. You skipped over me. No, I'm sorry, Jimmy. What was your thing? Say it again. Would quitting smoking help screams? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know what the science is on that. I'm sure it would help, but it's I I know so many good singers and, and screamers that smoke that, I mean, obviously any type of smoking is going to, in long term, affect your voice just because it's, it's fucking smoke, you know. It's not supposed to go in your body. It's not a natural thing, but... People, I mean, if you're as long as you're doing it like correctly, like screaming and and vocals, a lot of the times the smoke won't affect your ability to do those things. It might, it'll affect your talking voice more so than anything. Uh, Simeon Witty, what did you say? You need to know what I missed your initial question. Are you taking part in Band Up with Jared? Uh, I will be there. I don't believe I'll be a part of it, but I'm just going to be helping out. Can you do inhale highs? Uh, not well. Yeah, it wasn't fun for me. <laughs> I see you, Chris, Jake Wood says. <clears throat> Do you ever listen to Wage War? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Wage War's awesome. I love Wage War. You make me honestly want to keep practicing my vocals. You were a huge idol. Hey, thank you so much, Go Suffer. I wasn't telling that person to Go Suffer. That's their name. Uh, thank you very much. <clears throat> How hard is it for you to alternate between cleans and uncleans? Uh, I'm not the strongest singer, so singing for me is hard, but transitioning in and out of my screens isn't that hard. Kind of like... <gasps> But now what you, you can blow. It's just like switching in and out of it, kind of. What screams are easy, easy-ish, but effective when done well? Mids. Just go for mids. It's super easy to, to get out with doing it, because you initially start by, like, my favorite was just trying to imitate a pit bull, like a, a big dog. It's like, roof, roof, roof. You kind of just get the grit right off the bat, and then that's where you want, that's the sound you want. That's like the little fry rasp that you would be adding to your, your meaty voice. You doing a pit bull bark is essentially a false chord scream already. It's hard to go from high to low. Oh, God, that was a bad scream. That's better. That is kind of hard. <laughs> Notice the ultimate fan account. I did. I noticed you. How tall are you? I'm 6'3". Uh, what bands have you been listening to um, lately? i uh, still been listening to Varials. Um, still can't get over how good that shit is. Uh, I started listening to, what was it, the Dolly Thundering concept recently. They're really good. Um, <clears throat> I've been listening to Nothing Nowhere a lot, too. It's really great. What is this? Do you like David Bowie? I never never listened to David Bowie when he was alive. I just never... I listened to the last song that he did, um, that he really released after his death or whatever, that, that music video. I, it was a cool video and everything. I just I didn't care for the music itself. It's not my specific favorite thing, but I definitely see the appeal and I like it. In Dying Arms highs. Oh, dude, those are... Yeah, those are wicked high. They're like the fry, just like piercingly high. <clears throat> Essentially, law. I know it sounds vague, but y'all understand when it clicks. <sighs> Ooh, how loud does your screams have to be? I mean, it does. It's a personal preference. There's plenty of vocalists that do fry screams that do well in the industry. It's just like <clears throat> fry screams sound great on recordings. It's just as long as you don't care that it's not loud. Like that's really all it comes down to is that your personal preference. Because most people that consume music that aren't vocalists don't give a shit that your screams aren't loud. They just want it to sound good on a record. It's just, I mean, that's, it makes sense to me. Like, it doesn't have to be the loudest scream. Like, I personally like to do the louder screams because it feels more like a scream to me. And I feel like there's a lot more range because when you do fries, you're kind of confined to, like, the tone rather than, like, your own individual voice leaking through. Whereas you, with false chords, it's mostly your voice. So it's easier to, to do that. Uh... <clears throat> can you screen Reign of Darkness for me? I can try. <clears throat> Fear me when I'm 
destruction of the innocents. I am a violent and penitent in flesh. Root of the bones in the pain of the blood of self. The dark out of the earth. Move, move. There you go. Do you, uh, de wait. Do you depend on some mic effects to help you with shit? No. I do not. Um, I no. It's just screams. I mean, obviously, you gotta, like, have gain and shit, because when you record straight into a microphone, it's just, like, all over the place, so you gotta compress it and make sure that the rasp is actually picked up, otherwise it, otherwise it makes it, like, this weird clean sound, and it sounds off. Uh, but that's why I was saying fries are good, because fries into a mic, all, do they just, like, they don't peak anything, really, so they always sound kind of crisp. Why won't for the likes of you come to Boise? Uh, this is scheduling issues. My bad. See you later, uh, oh, Almist. Thanks for being here. Do you enjoy King Hill? Yes, I do. Uh, a lot. Their newest shit. Too Far Gone is really good. Can you do really high pitches like King Diamond? Uh, not well. I can be like, Aah! but I can't do it well. Fave core band. Um, I don't know. I mostly listen to core because I'm a poser, but right now, Varials probably or uh, Reflections is, I mean, they're broken up, but they're still one of my favorites. But can you scream District of Misery? Uh, I can go. We are the answer, and then that's all I remember. <laughs> How do you feel about Hungry Light Scream Tips? Uh, I fucking I don't remember. I watched this a long time ago, but I mean, from what I remember, they're pretty helpful. I, they're to the point for his type of screaming that he does. Yeah, boy. How did you learn to pronounce words while inhale screaming? Uh, I just don't fuck with inhale like screaming, man. I know some people that can do it, but if you're trying to like incorporating the both of them, is just you're just gonna fuck up your voice long term. I just want to do it. Favorite subgenre of metal? Uh, new metalcore, if that's a real genre. When is your band coming out with more music? Uh, real soon. We just got a new music video back for our new song, and that'll be going soon. And then if you're coming to see us live, we have three new songs too. So whoop whoop whoop. What should I do to keep my voice healthy on tour? Um, <clears throat> honey, natural honey's good. Uh, like, warm drinks are always great to have. Make sure you take care of your voice. Uh, my buddy Brian from the home team, he he's a wizard with his voice. He he takes great care of it. He, the, like, before his shows, he'll talk quietly. Like, when he's talking to people, he'll whisper. And just so he doesn't, because, you know, you're in a venue and shit when you're on tour. So you don't want to, like, blow out your voice talking super loud. So he'll talk very quietly and try not to talk at all, really, until after his set. Um, <clears throat> try to smoke as, you know, little as often. If you're going to smoke... Wait till like after your set or something or you know like way after your set not right after because your voice is still gonna need a minute to chill I just I want I would try to avoid it as most as you can if you are going to that's still that's fine Just be smart about it and stay hydrated while you're doing it <clears throat> um, Stay healthy too on the on the tour take you know I take vitamins and stuff every day I bring emergency uh, getting sick on the tour with you know is like one of the worst things so you gotta really be mindful of that why well, you gotta skip right over? I'm not trying to, man. This, this, there's a lot of comments in here. I'm sorry. Uh, if I don't see it, just comment it again, and I'll be more likely to see it. <coughs> Can you scream like Chester Bennington or Jared Leto? No, not really. I tried. Um, I'm not good at it. It's like, <clears throat> I need to figure out how to do it without trying so hard, because like, I can do the Chester scream kind of, but I feel like I have to give it so much effort to get there, so I just need to pull back a little bit. woo -hoo. What technique is used for the main verses of Bewildered? Uh, I think it's just a mid mid screams that I do. Uh, so you just mid false chords mostly. How to do highs? Uh, I have a tutorial if you haven't seen that for false chord highs. But I mean, a lot of it is mouth shape. It's like the wider your mouth and the higher your eyebrows, you kind of like physically feel the sound rise. A lot of the sound for highs specifically is manipulated with your soft palate, where your little uvula dangles down. That little area <clears throat> is a really good for affecting your highs and like pulling back here and letting the sound travel upward and reverberate up here can change the the stone or the tone a lot as well. Oh, woo -hoo. you guys are fucking commenting so fast. Can you scream spite? Do you like them? I love spite. I'm gonna do the I'll do the Spartan roofs from a uh, killer be killed. <laughs> You know, or whatever. Can you hit the high screams like the Black Dahlia murder? Uh, he, so his highs are weird because they're like very like that yes, like voicey like yes, 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 
It's very like talky almost and dramatic. Uh, I haven't practiced those much, but I feel like if I practice it more, I could get a little higher with the pitch. Do you like Knock Loose? Uh, I like their music. I'm not a huge fan of the vocals. I just wish that there was a little bit more than the yells. I know the other guy does some mm, like lows every now and then, but I just wish there was a bit more. Spike Colt, motherfucker. What do you think of the new metal kids? I, I like new metal, so I mean, they're cool with me. Woof woof. Will your band come to Indiana? Uh, I don't think that we're touring through Indiana. I apologize. Mo my dad's family's from Indiana, so I might come up there one day. Never been there. Have you heard of Villain of the Story? Yeah, they're that band on Stay Sick, I believe. Can you scream like Marilyn Manson? Um, no, because I want to keep my voice. Called out. Fucking called out, dude. Do you and Jared have helped me a lot in life so much? Thank you, bro. Thank you, Joey Plays, for allowing us to be a part of your life. How do you do pig squeals? It's mostly in the... <clears throat> the, the, the sound you're doing. You gotta do an e, something that has an E sound so you can get the right like frequency of the E when you're re in or whatever. Uh, initially, when I figured out how to do it, I had to stick my tongue up okay, <sighs> to get like the whistle kind of because it's like your tongue is pointing up and then the air comes like through this part and it makes like a little tight whistle. So when you do the E sound, you kind of gotta like E feel it all the way through. So you gotta or shape it with your tongue so you get the little E sound and then it's it's just a normal like low scream but when you manipulate it to the e, the re thing then it becomes a pig squeal so normal scream would be and then you do the bree and it's like right up there aliens do you believe them i i would like to believe that there's some sort of life out there i mean especially with our universe infinitely expanding uh, so, I mean, I'm open to the idea. I mean, I, there's not enough evidence to say that, you know, I'm about it, but I am very hopeful. That'd be cool. Have you and Jared talked about making another Kaylin Aleth album? Uh, yes. We have. We, uh, eventually we'll do it. Just like I said earlier, we're just got a lot of shit going on with other music projects and YouTube and whatnot in our personal lives, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I wrote one song from it. I have the story mostly done i just need to finish the the last like two chapters of it <clears throat> but it's going to be dante's inferno inspired so i wrote my own story of sort of adaptation of that type of mythology um uh, but yeah that would be cool <clears throat> i'm a fan of manson yeah i like his music finally going to see you guys when you come to austin texas in july so stoked my friend's band is opening for you guys hell yeah jeremiah i am stoked to see you as well that'll be awesome how do you bleh uh, the, like, like I was saying with the other screams, a lot of, like, things like that are all on just, like, the tongue position and how you enunciate the, Ugh. <laughs> my favorite one is going from, like, a lower tone to a higher, so, like, the, Ugh. Ugh. those are pretty cool, um, but the way to do them is that you gotta, like, almost talk your scream into it, so it's like a, Ugh. 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 it's like a gradual build, or if you're doing a bleh, it's a, Ugh. there's, it, there's always a, Ugh. Like a little pukey in it somewhere. So you, if you can find a way to accent that, you don't really have to even be good at the scream. Mo I've, you know, most people can do that sound, and then you just add it with a little bit of volume, and you get more of the blech sound. Uh, what do you think of Tyler from Sworn In? Uh, garbage singer. Wish he would stick to screaming. The album sounds great, but I saw him live, and that boy cannot sing live. Uh, can I do Corey Taylor screaming? Uh, like I, was, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but uh, I don't think anybody will be able to emulate his exact voice just because, like, most of his scream is his voice coming through. Like, if you hear him sing it, you definitely can tell that that's still Corey Taylor. Uh, but you can do the sound. It's just, it's just like an aggressive talking. Like, I was kind of demonstrating it earlier where if you were to talk like this and then add the, uh, a little bit of grit, and then you get the, uh, when I can spin that face, without a life without a trace. Like, you know, it's a little more, it obviously doesn't sound like Corey, but it's the same vocal style. It's just like a, and it, it's not necessarily like a mid, but it's like an aggressive talk, kind of. Still waiting on the, that Rex and Fane, holy shit. Damn, that's a, <laughs> that was a throwback. Was that like a 2015 throwback? My bad, I guess I just never got to that, did I? Uh, do you like Trivium? I actually never got into Trivium until like, until Jared performed with them, and then he started playing them a little bit more, and I was like, oh, I actually kind of like this. I never listened to it before, but... So now, yeah, I actually do like them. Any tips on getting highs higher? My highs aren't as high as they were before I started working on my lows and mids. <clears throat> um, that'll kind of just happen if you, like, take attention away from it. You know, a lot of times you'll lose the 
the little flavor. Oh, spicy boy. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll lose the, the flavor a little bit. Shit, now I, I got sidetracked again. Oh, no. Uh, have you gone over pig's wheels? Yeah, I have a tutorial on pig's wheels, and I just went over them a little bit in the chat. So if you watch this video after it's posted, it'll be like at the 28 minute mark. $100 right now if you crush an egg on your head while burying. I mean, if you do it, I'll do it. <clears throat> I forgot to type my message. <laughs> well, anyway, hi from Northern Ireland, Austin. It's 202 and also my birthday. Uh, I've hit the big 21. Hey, happy birthday, Cameron Austin. Congrats on the name Austin in your name. That's pretty dope. Uh, have a good whoopee. Happy, happy birthday from Red Robin to you. <laughs> You like math core? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Number 12 looks like you is like, they used to be my shit back in the day. How do you make false chord highs less gnarly and more smooth? Uh, that's kind of the issue with false chord highs is that they're not smooth, is that they're mostly raspy and the more rasp you add, the less smooth it'll be. Uh, so if you're trying to go for a smooth, like a smooth high, you gotta try to go more for the vocal fry and clean up the fry so there's less rattle. Cause you can control the tone so it's like, instead of ah, see how there's like a gra gravel rather than a ah. so it's just it's finding the difference between those two and then applying your high to that have you heard of famous last words hell yeah oh yeah they used to be sick back in the day i haven't heard their newer shit but way back when the i forgot the song but you know the, you know the one with the breakdown with the sick ass like singing melody over it, like i'm a sinner i'm a sinner i'm a sickle blood and killer da, da, da. that one that song's dope how do you differentiate between uh, damage and progression? Um, well, if you if it hurts you, it's damage. If like if it's discomfort, that's that comes with practicing. It's like if you're building up the the tolerance. So discomfort is fine, but if it's like hurting you and like to the point of like what I've been told people said they like spit up blood or like uh, I don't even know like if your throat is like really dry, you should stop too because that can hurt you. So like yeah, mostly the difference is between. The actual pain and discomfort and knowing like pulling back you'll you'll know you'll progress too also this is a good one is if you record yourself you don't post it to the internet because then you'll never see your progress but if you keep it for yourself record yourself practicing and then don't record yourself again for like a month and then record yourself again and compare the two and you'll be able to noticeably see your difference favorings a saturn song um fuck that's a big question all of ginger <laughs> <clears throat> you reckon Brian Garris has any technique in his vocals, or do you think he just... He has to have technique. That dude tours all the time, and his voice is fine. So, cause I, the, vo the style he does is, like, it sounds like it's a really harsh yell, and that's also probably why he doesn't do any other types of vocals, is because if you build up, like, a grit and a callus to, like, one specific type, you can usually do it regardless of how gone your voice is, uh, but it's just hard to transition. So he probably has that specific technique down pretty well to be able to do it full-time. <clears throat> when my band releases music, would you listen to it? Yeah, I'm always open to listen to shit. To shit. You feel me? Hey, hey, bro. First of all, I love you and Jared. Now the question, how would you suggest trying out to be the vocalist in a band when you've never been in a band before? Uh, make sure that you're good at vocals. I mean, everyone has to start somewhere, so I think people are aware of that. Um, just showcase what you got. Like, just... That's mostly what people want. They want to know that you're going to be able to bring it. This might sound silly too, but I used to practice being a front man in front of the mirror when no one was home uh, to get over the awkwardness on stage. Like this way, if I had practiced it at least, that when I did it on stage, I wouldn't look stupid. Because a lot of times you have something in your head, you're like, oh, I'm going to do this spin or this thing, and then you fucking do it, and it's off time, and it looks weird. Shit like that. Like You just practice in your own time and make sure you got it down. This is a weird time to jump into the stream. Uh, yeah, well, sorry. Noticed, uh, Antonio Leotoa. Noticed, boy. Dude, yes, they've released two new albums. Uh, shit, I forgot what band we were talking about. How are you? I'm good, Mohammed uh, Demir. Can you do cattle decap vocals? There you go. How do you feel about Alex Terrible? Uh, boy got some fucking meat in his voice. That's what I think. Uh, I think his highs are his weak point, but I think that that dude has the loudest lows slash mids I've ever heard, and it's very impressive. And I 
because I, I can kind of get the sound down, but I can't get that volume that he has, and I lose my enunciation. He can, like, enunciate pretty well with that style, and I, I can't do that. So he's he's definitely a fucking top-tier vocalist. He's really good. Uh, you like Cursed Sales? I've actually never heard of that band. You're a talented man. Thank you, Talon Young. Appreciate you. You've read three of my comments. Holy fuck. Make that four, motherfucker. And once again, I am moister than an oyster. Uh, thank you, Omega Manson. Hey, dude, I was wondering if you have any advice on booking. My band and I are trying to get exposure other than pictures on Instagram. We practice, and now we just want to get our first gig. Uh, talk to other bands in your local community. Find, Ask them what bookers are of your local venues or if they have nearby out-of-state contacts. Uh, and then book it yourself. Uh, that's the best advice I can give you. <clears throat> also, too, a good thing is if you're a new band, a lot of promoters like that because most new bands draw really well for their first couple shows because it's new and everybody wants to see it for the first time. So you can flex that a little bit if you've never played a show as well. Uh, how do you think Tyler Shelton does the bull sounding growl? It sounds ha half and low. It's it's like a wheeze. That's the way I, I always... Um, you're gonna do that. It's like a like a motorbike. And if you can get that and then apply it to your scream, you can do the. So it's like that kind of. Um, what is a good band name? Uh, I don't know. I I'll tell you a funny band name. When I was like 16, I had the name Swarm the Cathedral. Because I was like, yeah, dude, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like when there's a time need and everybody swarms to the cathedral, but it's also like a connotation of life, because we're like locusts, we're the swarm and re religion. <laughs> I was trying to be deep and shit, but, you know. Nilbog, that's a good one. B Goblin backwards. My mom said you look like you smell bad. Uh, thanks, I actually just showered, so fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, does your voice ever get fatigued? My talking voice does, but my screams are always there. Not quite like losing your voice. Yeah, it's more like a, like you can kind of like hear, because like I get like a scratch when I talk too much too. This is from talking. Uh, but so yeah, I, I definitely I definitely see what you're talking about. Like my talking voice would definitely me even singing. I still don't know how to. Still not the best singer, so I don't properly sing a lot, and that'll make my voice really hoarse. But regardless of that, I'm usually able to do the screams. Sorry if you answered this already. My net dropped out. Do you and Jared have any more projects like Keelan Elf in the works? Um, not together, but I have a new project that <clears throat> I've been working on. Uh, I can show you guys a little sneak peek real quick. If I can get uh, 15 more likes on this video, we get 165. I'll tease you guys my new shit that I've been working on. If you want, It's really heavy, too. Can you scream like Ab Abbeth? I don't know what that is. Holy shit, that was fast. You guys already did it. Thank God you guys are cool. Uh, holy shit, I went up like 50 likes. Okay. You guys are awesome. Okay, so this song is off of some new shit I've been working on. It's called World Spine. Oh shit, that's the one without vocals. Whoops. Let me get the one with vocals for you guys. Ugh. Oh, spaghetti man, where you at? Where you is, baby? Mmm. Okay, one second. Sorry about that. <laughs> Here it is. I got to download it now really quick. My bad, everybody. My bad. Okay, here it is. Play like a minute of it. I gotta get to the sick breakdown. Are you boys ready for the breakdown though?
Okay, that's all you get. Uh -huh. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. That's what you guys get for watching that little little teasy teasy. Um, but yeah, that's off a new project that I'm working on. It's a solo um, thing. I purchased some songs from a buddy of mine, and I'm doing a little solo uh, EP, and that's what it's going to be like. It's going to be heavy and groovy. Uh, Jesus Christ from Justin Haskin. Thank you, my boy, for being here. Uh, real quick shout out. If you guys are looking for some really good metalcore, check out Desolist. They just put out a new song called Heliphant, and they have a bunch of other really good songs on their channel, too. Like The Resurrection, that's my favorite. Uh, but you guys should check that shit out if you're looking for some good new tunes. Just came out today, baby. Uh, how do you work on Pitch for Screams and Growls? Uh, to see him hardcore dancing to metal. It scares me. It was my own song, too, baby. Uh, but this guy says, sorry. How to work on Pitch for Screams and Growls. Uh, so once you get the basics down of everything, you are going to want to... Uh, I don't know, find the sounds that you want to, to get closer to and then just, I don't know, practice to those sounds. Try to, like, if you can find, like, the base of it, you can manipulate the sound a lot easier. And then once you figure out how to start manipulating the sounds, then just start doing it. Just fuck around a lot. A lot of it is trial and error, honestly. Uh, fuck that breakdown made my nuts quake. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for, I'm glad I could help you nuts quake. Oh, shit. Oops. Oh, hey, we got a $10. Oh, thanks, Beans. We got a $10 Gub Nation. Hey, Gubbins, when I try to do vocals, my voice automatically does the beatboxing throat bass instead of the raspy scream. Any thought on how to fix that? Anyway, love you, Organic Dad. Uh, I love you, my tough organic boy. <clears throat> um, good way to fix this. I noticed that if you're if you're having that stutter problem, it means that you're usually pushing too hard, and it's causing, like, think about your throat closing up like a little sphincter, and if you close up too much, the air is just going to go like that. It's going to, like suction and try it like you're pushing air out and your hole is gonna go wah, 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 like that and make the rattle so if you try less and pull back then the air will actually flow through the little hole and your throat and make the air will actually come out and the sound will be you know generated a lot easier so that would be my uh help for that folk did you say you guys like the new song looks like there's some peeps that like it have you ever taught tanner any of your screams uh no he's never asked me I would be glad to help, though, but I never like to just offer my help because it sounds pretentious. Be like, hey, man, you need vocal advice? I'm a vocalist. Did you know that? So, yeah, if he ever wanted to, I'd be super down to help. I'm always down to help. Uh, can you go fast like Archspire? <clears throat> uh, I mean, if, if I wrote something, probably. In that last song, it was pretty fast vocals in the, the Hive department. Oh, shit. What are you feeling for feminine? Uh, I don't know. What are you in the mood for? Okay. I'm always in the mood for Asian. You know me. You can do Porta if you want. I also do it so. Alright. Oh, well, Jared Hines asking what I want for food. What a nice fellow. Uh, oh, you're the ultimate horse god. Thank you. Clap, clap, clap. Fucking dope. Thank you, guys. So, whip. I was looking at the chat. Yeah, I whipped. You fucking. You missed it. Uh, thank you, guys. Looks like you guys enjoyed the song. I appreciate you guys listening. Do you recommend getting gauges? Uh, it's up to you. If, I like. I think that they looked cool. That's why I got them. I, I, I don't know. I figured it would. I liked how they looked, so that's why I got them. If you don't like how they looked, then just I don't know. Just don't fucking do it. What was the low vocal technique? Uh, I was doing. I don't know. People called them the walruses, but it's basically like my grizzly tunnel throat, and then I pushed it a little bit lower, kind of. Actually, uh, I was trying to emulate Body Snatchers vocalist because he does these like dinosaur like. Rrr, rrr, and uh, I found out how to do it. You have to utilize your turtle lips and go the kind of like that. Give yourself a little overbite with your lip, and it makes this weird like downward airflow, and it makes the wheeze a lot like easier to to manipulate. Do you like Tool? Yeah, I just fucking listen. Or Austin Hoda just showed me uh, this video about them breaking down how they use the um, I forgot what paradox it was, but it's like this numerical fucking thing to br and they wrote their whole song using that structure it was really fucking cool and it gave me a huge huge respect for that band <clears throat> any thoughts of, on ghost rats uh yeah i fucking loved it are you kidding me the song was awesome like most notion of weight uh not their new stuff but yeah i'm still a fan of like creatures i heard there's a couple good songs on the new album i just haven't heard it yet where do i get the rasp slash grit to start practicing i got the use your diaphragm part down the rasp is uh, the amount of air that you're letting slip through your young throat and how much tension you're giving it. So the more you tense, the more wobblies you get. The less you tense, or I'm sorry, the less you tense, the more wobblies you'll get in your throat. And the more you tense, the more narrow the hole will be. And you gotta manipulate it that way. Ooh, thank you, spicy boy. You're welcome. You wanna, you wanna take over this chat real quick? Oh no, I'm so unprepared. Hi guys, <laughs> what's going on? Hello. Do you have a favorite thrash band, Austin? Oh, 
Thrash? Favorite Thrash. I don't really listen to Thrash. <laughs> no. Austin doesn't really listen I, to Thrash. I just throw out one, I guess. I, I, the only one I know that's Thrash is Slayer. <laughs> so, there you go, you get that one. Slayer. Megadeth is a pretty good thrash band. I've, dude, I've, I haven't. I couldn't even tell you a Megadeth song. Really? I haven't listened to any Megadeth like um, my entire life. I like it. <clears throat> Hold on. Oh, my bad. I don't know how to live. <laughs> what was that? Jared Dines from Jared Dines. That is. Jared Dines from Jared Dines. Someone said Death Stalker is a thrash band. Wow. <sighs> Can you scream like Rob Halford? Nope. Definitely not. I wish I could. Wish I had those powerful, operatic vocal cords. Do you listen to Necro Goblicon? I just watched. <laughs> we just watched, we just watched their. Uh, it's a few days old, I think, but they're um, dressed like a goblin or something like oh, yeah, that. That's what he kept yeah. chanting at least. Dressed like a goblin. Dressed like a goblin. Yeah, they're pretty sick. Uh, any thoughts on the band name Anti Life? Sounds very positive. It's a good positive <laughs> message you got going on there. Sounds like something I'd take my my niece to. Cool. You got something? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to give you, you back to Austin. <clears throat> Appreciate it, Mr. Broham. Thank you for the help. I think it's about time in the stream to crack the boots, don't y'all think? Oh, yes, Daddy. Uh, where are we grabbing beers when you stop in Atlanta? Uh, wherever It's up to you, man. You know You know the places more than we do. Do you know how, wait, do you know how whoever mixed Ghost Pains did the tunneled screams at the bridge of the song? Do you, wait, how, what are you talking about? Uh, I, I did the screams, I, oh, you mean like the echoey effect? It was like the, it sounded like it was like in a different room. Uh, Jason Daggett, uh, from Avoid, if you want to contact them about any mixing or anything, he could help you out. Uh, Gent sucks, but I still love you, Jared. Oh, don't tell him. He, he's already gone. Do you know any female screamers or anyone with a high voice screamers? Uh, my buddy Brendan can do whistle tone screams, which is like the highest register screams you could do. Uh, I don't know any girl screamers, though, personally. You know, <laughs> we're talking about the old lady, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't tell her I said that, please. Where is in Waji? Uh, I don't know. I think he's in California. Just living it up, you know. How do you feel about Death Grips, uh, aside from the meme culture? Uh, I'm not super into it. I don't like the vocals. I, he always feels like he's rapping off time to me, and I don't like that that's the appeal. Uh, so not too much. It's not my favorite band. Sarby. Have you watched a documentary on Hulu called Dead Hands Dig Deep? No. Uh, I have not, but it sounds cool. About the band Kettle Cadaver? Huh. Do some Attila? <clears throat> Wish I do. <clears throat> um, Shout out to Kino, one after another for all of my homies and all of my brothers shut up and debuff me just like the others about to get to the mythology, yeah! I forgot the words, the last part, but I got most of it. Uh, fucking love Death Grips. I started listening for the memes, but got caught up in it. I mean, it is what it is. King 810, I like them. Uh, it's it's weird, it falls into the same, like, off-time vocalist category as, as uh, the last band we were just talking about, Death Grips. Um, but... A little more aggressive. Like, their music's super heavy. Their new album was dope. I like King, King 810. Have you heard the new Impending Doom song? Yeah, I was a little bummed. Uh, the intro was sick, and the the line that he says at the end is pretty cool, but the song was kind of boring uh, throughout, which was a little unfortunate. I hope the rest of the album's better, because I'm still going to be buying it. Uh, uh, um, I will not queef fart. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't queef out my tartal lips. Uh, what do you think of the Black Dahlia murder? Uh, I'm about it. I like that that band has such a cult following. That makes me really happy. Ben Jones, do you push your falsetto voice into the highs you do? Uh, no, I, I do not. It's uh, mostly just generated from the soft palate, which, I mean, I guess, yeah, it's like kind of using your head voice, but it's different. Like, the, the if you were to do a falsetto one, I feel like it would be more of a fry just because it's like, ah! like, it's like a, it's a higher, like, the falsetto feels like it's more up here, whereas my highs are, like, right here at the base of my soft palate. Uh, how you feel about Godsmack? I mean, I used to listen to him back when I was in high school, but I just haven't listened to him in like fucking seven years. <laughs> Shots for the boys, a eh? Dickie's opinion on stoner metal? Not a fan. I, get, I listened to six albums uh, a couple weeks ago just to see, and it's not for me. You like Exotype? Um, they were, I remember listening to them like a few years ago, and they were alright. Not my favorite. How do you do the high mids in Dragged Under? Um, it's, a, it's a yell. It's like a... 
you have to yell on top of my normal voice. Like, so if I were to be like, yeah, this is my voice when I'm talking. But then you add the yell grit. Ah! What's out, you? Like that. Oh. Uh -huh. Also, what do you think of Scarlord? I, I said it earlier. That dude's sick. I like his music. It's just, it's like, those were my friends in high school. The little, the little, like, anime fucking dweebs that... Uh, we're like also friends with everybody else like I'd roll around to different groups and be like yo That's my buddy the, the black dude that's super into metal and rap and also Dragon Ball Z uh, Sing disengaged by C I don't fucking remember the words of that song honestly I haven't listened to that so long Dickie Please ask Jared Dines to do a live stream for guitar tutorials. I'll, I'll tell him I'll tell his ass to do it. I Feel really bad. I still know I missed like a two dollar chat earlier. So if you're still in here, please uh, please comment Where's the bro job thing? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, we were supposed to be on it. Jared couldn't do a certain date with the, we couldn't meet like a deadline that they needed for a song. We were supposed to be in that goth song, um, but we needed more time. And then we just haven't had any follow up since then, unfortunately. So I don't really know. Uh, okay, baby. What is your favorite song? Oh, what, I'm sorry. What is your favorite A Date to Remember song? Uh, off the top of my head, Heartless is a great go-to for me or like Shot in the Dark. Those two are classics. Can you scream like Rob Halford? Uh, I don't know. What band is Rob Halford from? You guys gotta know. I didn't listen to this type of shit when I was growing up. <clears throat> do you smoke meat cigarettes? That's all I do is smoke meat cigarettes. Uh, favorite track from I Valiance's new EP? Uh, Which is Dan. Can you... Uh, who's Rob Halford? I feel like such a fucking normie poser. Can you scream like Austin Dickey? Nah, dude. That dude sucks. I would never want to scream like him. Uh, can you do trill growl? What is roll your tongue while growling? Oh, like the tongue roll? Okay, trill. I get it now. Uh, no. Desolist can, though. I've heard him do it. I've tried. I can kind of do it with the highs, like the... the like, it's certain words. Like, I have to hear it first. Like, if I know... Like, if I hear somebody else do it, then I can usually do it. Uh, who will scream for issues? I think Tyler Carter's been doing them. Dude, their bass is... Or, no, I'm sorry, not their bass. Even, yeah, Sky, too. Sky's got some cool screams. But the other dude, the little short dude... He's got some fucking wicked screams. He should just do the screams. Austin, how do I get basic false chords? Uh, try to be a dog, a big burly dog. Go, ruff, 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 ruff. Like that. Just like that. It's just as easy. <laughs> but no, you, you practice to the dog barking. It gets the initial rasp. And then from there, you can kind of... As soon as you find the sound it's so, and where it is in your throat, it's so much easier. You just got to figure it out for yourself, though. Nobody can show you exactly in your own throat where you feel it. But just practice it. Try to do the dog sound until you get as close to the guttural, like, boom, just the loud. Like, once you get that little rattle, that little crispy rasp, and just keep going. Oh, yeah, I actually mentioned Dolly Thundering Concept earlier. They were one of the bands I've been listening to recently. So, yes, uh, Dom Shoe, I do. I have heard. Uh, how do you feel about Being as an Ocean? Uh, it's not my favorite music. Uh, I get it. I, I liked the... Fuck, what was it? The... Lying awake in bed. That, that little album, but... I haven't been super into it after that. Do you know any Ocean's 8 Alaska? Uh, yeah, I fucking... Your boy, not to name drop. I did uh, guest vocals with them live uh, last month, so, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool. Do, do, do. Depending on the Amity Affliction, I used to... Okay, so this is weird. I went through a weird thing with that band. Back in, like, the Youngbloods era, I used to love them, and then I fell off hard because I just felt like they were putting out the same shit. And then the most recent album, I got back into them, and I liked the new album again. <laughs> I don't know who Rob Halford is. Tell me what band he's from, and I'll fucking try. I'll try to scream like him. I have Google right here. Why don't I just fucking Google him? Sorry. I'm a man-child. I don't know how to use the internet. None of y'all will tell me who Rob Halford is. Oh, Judas Priest. Um, yeah, no. I definitely can't do that. Can you flex on me? I can... Look at this. You think this is my accident? Look at this. It looks like a Hot Wheels track. Look at that shit. Um, please, please nobody tell anybody I didn't know he was from Judas Priest. What are your thoughts on that Jared Dines guy? I mean, he's all right, but he ain't no Rose County. I'm, I'm all right. Anybody like Slam Core? Uh, I, I did a Slam song, actually. It's called, uh, was it Philoplasty? Um, and this song was called Human Taxidermy. I did a guest spot for somebody in a Slam song. Thoughts about Dickie Allen's vocals? Uh, they're wicked sick. Um, he's, yeah, he... 
he obviously didn't make up tunnel throats, but he definitely like modernized them and made them huge in the the core genre and got a lot of people inspired to doing that. So I definitely think he's he's done a lot for the vocal community as far as inspiring people to do those types of screams. Um, it's also you know it came with its its downsides. It influenced everybody to do them, so now everybody thinks they can do them. Just like they figure out like the basic sound, and they're like I can do it now, and then every song now has some sort of like was that a tunnel throat. Uh, which is, I mean, which is fine. It's going to happen. I just wish there wasn't such a saturation with it. You know, people got to be tasteful with it. Like, for Dickie, it was, like, his main primary sound, but that worked for them. I, I don't think everybody should, like, continue to try and use it as a primary. It's nice when it's just, like, a little flange on the end of a, a part. Uh, One dollar from Thomas. It doesn't say anything. It just, thank you. Just thank you for the donate, my guy. Uh, you the hero, Thomas Meeker. You guys ain't slaying. You guys ain't slaying. <laughs> Uh, new song with Phil Likes You. Yep, coming out soon. Got a music video for it. For It's called uh, Habitual Gloom, and it'll be out uh, wicked soon -y. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do you like Ginger? Um, that name sounds super familiar. I feel like I've heard that, but I can't I can't recollect what it actually sounds like. That wasn't a slam song? Oh, shit. I, uh, I don't know, then. <laughs> Stupid question. What size are your plugs? Uh, whoop, they're 5'8". What you got? A little crispy? A little 5'8 crisp. When will you come to Houston? Uh, this summer, in July. So, bam, bam, bam. Just got here. Am I, I miss anything? Uh, probably. You might want to watch it after. We went over a bunch of vocal tips if you need any help with that. Uh, I answered a bunch of questions. Jared made a couple, a couple of appearances. Woo! Uh, can you do Alex Jones' voice? Listen, uh, so, honestly... It's not even that big of a deal. Everybody, everybody, everybody's a social construct, and uh, there's, 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 there's cyanide in uh, belt buckles, and they're turning our sisters into priests, and it's not good. Favorite non-metal genre band? Also love you, baby. Uh, thank you very much, Zach McDowell, for, for the $2 donate. My boy, appreciate you. Uh, favorite non-metal genre? Hmm, let's see here. Math Rock is up there for sure. Um, I rap, honestly, I guess would probably be my favorite rapper, like R&B. Uh, I'm super into, I listen to that shit all the time, like almost more than metal. <laughs> but yeah, thank you again, Zach. I really appreciate that, man. Uh, can you scream any rest repose? Um, I mean, the band's like right there, so I won't just because they'll hear me and that'll be weird. Uh, how did you learn your ballet tricks, boy? Uh, just practicing uh, YouTube tutorials, mostly. <laughs> uh, when will you be around New Hampshire? I have no idea. Can you grow? Oh, come on. Okay, yeah, if you guys want any uh, vocal demonstrations or have any questions, make sure to ask if you guys are just joining in. We'll be doing some vocal shit. You need to start doing more videos on your own, Papa. Yeah, I know. I I need to get back on that. I apologize. <clears throat> um, can you thought leave me right now? I need some sleep. All right, good night. Uh, I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Ichigo or Zero to... <sighs> How are you gonna hit me with that? I'm gonna go. From, I gotta go for my boy Ichigo, dude. Um, thoughts on Gigi Allen? Ah, uh, he, he's a fucking scumbag, man. I I I appreciate the people he inspired, but I not a fan of Gigi Allen. I, I watched like a bunch of videos on him uh, to like really form my opinion, and I, I just didn't like anything he stood for. Uh, come hang with the boys in Reno again. I love you. Dude, I'd love to. Cameron Smith, thank you for the $2 donate, man. I appreciate that very much. Uh, yeah, I'd love to once we're in Reno. Uh, come out to the show. Hang out. Let's fucking do it. Michael Johansson, uh, you've been noticed. Boom. You threw the hamster in my dream, Austin. I am sorry, Stormblade. That doesn't sound like something I would do. Uh, do you prefer Eddie or Mitch? Please say Mitch. Uh, yeah, I prefer Mitch. Uh, I was really excited for Eddie because Eddie was great in All Shall Perish. And then he was like... You know what I should do? I should try to sound like the new, the, 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 like, the late Mitch Lucker, and then he tried, and it didn't work, and then he just kept trying that instead of doing his awesome vocals. Have you heard Gloom in the Corner? Uh, yeah, Witch Hunt Sick. Can you wah ah ah wah ah, -ah. Uh, do you have a Spotify we can stock? Uh, my band does for the likes of you, so bam bam boom. Do you listen to any Galactic Pegasus? Yeah, Andrew Baina, he my boy. Uh, thoughts on Alex Terrible? He's great. Slaughter Prevails good. Alex Terrible's got one of the sickest, he's got like the loudest mid lows ever, which is sweet. Can you do a Donald Trump impression? Uh, I could, it'd be huge, it'd be huge. Uh, honestly, best impersonation I've ever seen of anyone ever. Honestly, huge. I, best friends, best guy in the world. Yeah, I'm not bad at it. I'm not good at it. Uh, Lamal, favorite anime? Um, 
Hmm. Favorite? I guess if we're doing favorite, I gotta go Dragon Ball. That super ending, ooh, buddy, got me. But like, if we're going like more obscure, I guess like Soul Eater or uh, Monaco Magica was really good. Uh, do you like Post Malone? Yeah, I fucking I love his music. Um, most people say I'm basic for that, but whatever. Oh, you Lele retracted their message. I don't know what it said. Can you scream like a horse? Uh, <laughs> Austin, would you don't wait. Would you don't mind, please, give some tips to care better metal vocal? Um, uh, what? I think you're trying to say to wait. Don't mind, please, give tips to take care of your. You want to take care of your voice or to get like a more refined scream? Is that what you're asking? Please specify. Thoughts on Lana Tours? Uh, fucking awesome. One of the best vocalists that I've ever seen live. His singing is so good. That motherfucker smoked two cigarettes on stage and still sang like a fucking angel when I saw them. <laughs> um, can you growl the I am the purest shame of hate? I am the purest sign of hate. Here you go. Bro, do you fuck with the Zuck? Uh, I fuck with the Zuck memes. I meant darling in the Fran XX Ichigo and Zero Two R Girls. Wait, what? Okay, you lost me on that one. Dan Watson is overrated? Question mark. Uh, I can't comment on that. Uh, you should come to Minnesota sometime so I can jerk you off in the parking lot of the venue after the show. Uh, I'll not bad covers. Uh, sounds like a plan, baby doll. Should I get a mohawk? Uh, you should get whatever you're happy with, honestly. I had a mohawk when I was in high school. It didn't work because my hair sucks. Uh, it kept falling down no matter what I used. Uh, but I'm glad I did it. It was a phase I went through, and I'm glad I had the experience. So if if you're always going to be wondering, man, I wonder what I'd look like with a mohawk. Just fucking do it. You're young. Hi, Obstin. What it is. Uh... <laughs> Can you drop a tee -hee? Uh, <laughs> Never mind. Uh, what'd you say, Trevor? I'm sorry. <laughs> These are hard to keep up on. How often do you listen to things that aren't metal or rock? Uh, all the time. I listen to rap and pop a lot. Uh, so, you know, some of that acoustic music and shit. Whatevs, whatevs. Angel Maker or Oceano? Uh, that's a good battle, actually. Hmm. I like Angel Maker for the overall, like, just the, if I had to listen to one, it'd probably be Angel Maker, but for the breakdowns, probably Oceano. Um, high Scream Tips, uh, <clears throat> try to distinguish the two registers. So I know a lot of people's problems is that when they do lows or mids, that they try to do the high from those registers rather than starting an entirely new higher register and then manipulating it from that. So I would say try to get it, uh, try to find your high register before and like to break through to that before trying to just manipulate your lows and your mids into a higher tone, if that makes sense. Like opening your mouth is how you get highs, but not from a mid scream. Uh, Thomas Meeker, I fucked up before. Law, when will drag under come? <coughs> uh, I don't know. We're working on it. it hold on. Sorry, we are working on it. It's we have a song ready to be done, basically that I already I tracked for a while ago. We're just waiting on the guest feature. And then we'll put that song out. Um, <clears throat> do you still talk to people from your high school? Did people that used to hate you slash not talk to you from school try talking to you once you got the clout? Um, it was weird. So I still talk to, uh, I still have a couple really good friends from high school. I've definitely gotten some messages from some high school people that I like barely talk to that message me like, dude, like what it is. Hey man, I'm, I'm doing music too. If you want to give me a share. It's like, I haven't seen you in a decade. Sure, homie. <laughs> like, but, it, I mean, I get it. Like, people get excited about things like that, too, and try to take advantage of it and try to capitalize. But I'm not going to hate on him for it. But, yeah, I have gotten a couple of those. Is it wrong to get a tattoo? My mom said she'll disown me, but, like, I really... I would just wait. So, I... That's, like, the one good thing my mom ever did for me was... She told, she made, she would not let me get a tattoo at a younger age. She said, as long as you're living with me, you can't have one. And luckily for me, she abandoned us when I was 17, so I didn't have, I got to choose my own tattoos. But I did listen to her, and I didn't get a tattoo until I was 20, and I am glad I waited, because I wanted a fucking monster tattoo when I was in high school, and I'm so fucking glad I didn't get that. I would have been pissed. So wait, I would say wait till you have a level head. I, your mom is probably just trying to watch out for you, but... In the end, after you're, if you're not with, like, living with your parents, then just give whatever the fuck you want. It's your body. You know, we only get one life. Do with it what you please, homie. Austin, can you growl like a Nurgle from Behemoth? 
Isn't that just like low talking almost? What do you call it when someone busts a nut on your sandwich? What do you call it? You call it a uh, betrayal. Do you like post hardcore? Hell yeah, I like post hardcore. How do you sell patches for your band? Um, what do you mean? How do you sell? You put a price tag on it and you go, these are six dollar patches, please. Um, I don't, there's websites for that if that's what you're asking, or you can make your own. Just get like some jean jackets and cut out some chunks and then slap your fucking graphic on there. Sew it on there. Austin, make the weirdest sound you can, quick. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Um, dude, I tried kombucha. It was lime coconut. Not a good flavor. Uh, blueberry mint. Good flavor. Let me tell you. Did I, ever, did I, did I tell you about my boot? Only three ninety nine at the store. My tattoos say hentai and kanji. What's your favorite hentai? Um, I don't know. You might have to ask Unwaji on that one. Kombucha intensifiers. Dicky, do you play Halo? Uh, I used to. I haven't played it in a long ass time. Corner Deftones. Ooh, that's a good. Maybe Deftones. I'm gonna go Deftones. Hey Austin, someone asked this earlier, but I thought it was a great question. What was is your biggest challenge in learning how to scream? Um, the progress, not being able to do a certain technique was definitely the most annoying thing for me. It's trying to, like, practice something and get the sound and just never being able to figure it out. But through practicing and just trying and trying, I was able to actually get it. So that was definitely the, one of the harder things to hurdle over. Life, just doing a vocal thing. Um, yeah, on my channel. Um, you should grab a vape and come upstairs and give us some fog. Okay. <laughs> you can bring your friends. I can bring your friends? Yeah, you guys want to see a light show? You guys want to see a light show? I gotta go make some some fogs. Oh boy, here we go. We're gonna travel. Going on a trip. Uh, see, I don't even know if I like, fucking... I can't vape. It hurts me. It hurts my little boy pussy. Where did everyone go? Uh, just trying to go live and it gets interrupted, right? For real, man. I gotta fucking, I gotta make a fog. Dude, sorry, bro. I got all the smokes. How do I do it? <laughs> I don't know how to use these things. I think it's dead. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. Shit. I don't know how to do it. Your mom, mom gay. Sorry, dude. Someone in chat said it. Not me. How do you do this, Jerby? Uh, I think it's dead. Too low. Yeah. Does it's it dead like battery, plug? Sarby. Huh? Does it have like a plug in it? Somebody help me. Somebody please help me. Uh, everything flaccid down here. Everything. Everything flaccid. Why are you coming to... Okay, yeah, I'm going to help him out with this. Um, hold on, I think there was a super chat. I should probably answer that first. There it is. Uh, Tiffany Hoffman. What bands from Europe do you like? I love bands like Rhymestein, Death Stars, Goth, Minis, or Minster, and Him. Um, I like him and Ramstein as well. I don't know the other two. Uh, I don't know too many European bands. I I know a lot of bands that are from Australia, and I know there's a few bands that are from Europe that I think are from Australia, so I'm not too sure. Um, I, I like Vitalism. I'm not sure where they're from. I know they're not from the U.S., so there's that. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to end the live stream here, everybody. Thank you guys so much for being here. Appreciate it a lot. Uh, we'll do these some more if you guys like it, and... Uh, ask some more questions in the future. See you all on the flip side. How do I fucking end this?